kept searching for a time and a season when we have enough resources and the way we all in order to take, do a film until the opportunity came in 1992. Surge of wonderful African films from all over the continent. It's amazing to come all the way to Nigeria to uh, participate in something where the arts are being elevated. When I talk about um, acting to my students, I tell them that acting is 20% talent, which is the gift that God gives you. A lot of them wanted Ramsey to play the role I played, which is Shola. It was going to be a stereotype. You know, because putting Ramsey in that role, it would just be the normal Ramsey that everybody knows. I decided to change it and, you know, play on people's intelligence. Today on True Nollywood Story is veteran actor and master of the arts, Ambassador Jibola Dabo. He hails from Undo State, Owo to be precise. Hose is first degree in fine arts and masters in mass media from the Columbia State University, majored in film production. Unlike people we think, Jibola Dabo had a very humble beginning. One thing that you need to know first of all is that um, if there is no humble beginning, if there's no humble beginning, uh, it hardly ever happened that it would not be short-lived. You know, reverse is in Tabajia for no Pelowani. It means when you when you struggle and work hard for something, you will appreciate such and it will last longer, you will enjoy it longer. Uh, I had a very, very rough beginning. I had a very rough beginning really. Uh, not coming into acting because um, what they experience today and they call that um, hardship is a little different. It's just getting recognition, that's what they think is difficult today. But um it is even getting the respect you want as a human being because you are almost less than the others when you say you are you know, you say you're an actor when I'm coming up, you know, uh, a teacher, or a lawyer, or, you know, all the different works are much more respected. Very emotional too. I saw you guys now, huh? According to Jibola Dabo, the, the arts chose him. Well, my own story is that the art chose me. I didn't choose the art because I didn't even know the art. Though I was just born and I, and I, and I grew up in the art. Uh, <clears throat> how do I explain that to you? Well, coming up as a child, I have been made to play just some biblical roles by my older siblings that would come back from school. Either they restaged the plays they did in school or uh, they unknowingly, you know, stage some stories that, that's uh, been read out of some school in bo uh, from books of the school, but mostly Bible in those days. And they would say, oh, Jubala, you play this, you act like this, uh, play the husband, or play the father, or play the son. And I would just play it. And my parents would just watch us and, and just laugh. I didn't know, sitting down at any time, I said, mm, I want to be an actor. You know? So that's why, that's why I, I said, the art chose me. As it is, the arts has taken him all over the world. The one answer is I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for what level I've found myself. I have entered where, where I would never dream of entering because of who I am. I've been recognized by people that are larger than life and they still think I'm larger than life. I, it sometimes becomes painful <laughs> because um, you are treated as even though you are so large that people cry. People say, oh my God, is this from C? Can I check your hand? Oh my God. You know, I, I've seen this and, and then I become a little bit emotional, you know, sometimes because um, I will be like, okay, who am I exactly? And I know that bagging three various professorship in various areas couldn't give me what the arts have given me, you know. So I, I am I'm grateful, I'm grateful to the arts, and I'm grateful to those who, who adore me. This is 
is what he has to say about choice of role interpretation, citing an instance from one of his ever controversial work. I would like to sit down here and tell you both that I will select roles. Yeah, but there is no role I won't play. You know, uh, but I will not play roles that will be a direct slap on my culture. Now, having said that, when you show this program, some might even say, but he did uh, this movie or that movie. Sometimes you play a role because you are committed into teaching people a lesson. A particular story that, I, that we have seen in this country that I've played and, and it has generated so much controversy is one particular movie I did with Tonto. No, I, I've not mentioned it too because I don't want to start advertising this story for somebody. But then, that was this movie I did with Toto. And uh, a few more say, talking about interpretation, when I read the script, it was light. It was just, a story was almost uh, just a man who just might want to sleep around with everybody or something. But to give that story which I had to give depth to that character. And it is one of the most difficult characters I've ever played, I've ever played. Because number one, I hated the character because I'm not that character and it's not me for several reasons. And for me to be convincing, I had to become that character. And after that movie or after the set each day, if you watch behind the scenes, you will see somewhere where some people are saying, sorry uncle, sorry, sorry uncle, you know because I hate that character and then I will have to get out of that character or get it out of me. No more sitting on the fence. Jibola Dabo has declared his intent to run for the House of Representatives for his federal constituency in Owa, Ondo State. Uh, Jibola Dabo is running uh, for the House of Representatives uh, for a federal constituency in God or War say, federal constituency in Ondo State of Nigeria. Federal constituency. It's called House of Representatives. Hello there viewers. I am Jibola Dabo. You are watching Read Nollywood. Keep watching. My life's like a summer way who oh, I know this love don't lie. Look at me, tell me what you see